Hi everyone, this is Sherry Pendarvis, artist and author of the Painter Wow books and the Artist Tablet books. In this video, we'll explore the layer enhancements in Painter 2020. These enhancements help us with our painter workflows. In Painter 2020, additions to high-level context menus save you time. Helpful workflow tweaks such as collapsing, locking, selecting, and pasting improve responsiveness and quality of layers. In the toolbar, the layer Layer Adjuster can be accessed by clicking on it or by typing the shortcut F. Click and hold to access the Transform tool. The Layer Adjuster tool is used to select, move, and manipulate layers. The Transform tool lets you modify selected areas of an image or layer. To transform a media layer, for instance, a thick paint or watercolor layer, the layer must first be committed to a default pixel-based layer. We have the Layer Adjuster tool chosen, and as you see in the property bar, we have the Layer Adjuster tool, and we can change over to the Transform tool if we choose. We have Auto Select Layer and Edit functions for layers, changing the order of selected layers, merging layers to a single layers, aligning, grouping in the property bar. Now let's talk about the layers panel. The layers panel here at the very top we have composite methods and composite method affect how a layer interacts with layers underneath and you can set a different composite method for each layer if you choose to. And on the right, we have the composite depth menu. Composite depth pertains to layers that have depth information. Say, for instance, if you've painted on a layer with impasto and you have add, subtract, and replace. Below the menus are some important buttons. On the far left, we have preserve transparency and preserve transparency will constrain any editing on the layer to existing pixels. Pick up underlying color allows us to pull color from underlying layers and it works well with brushes such as the Sargent brush variant of artists' favorites and brushes in the Sargent category. Here we have the opacity and opacity slider right here, which you can adjust like so. And you can also use keys on your keyboard, one taking a layer down to 10%, and you can adjust them with, with 10% percent increments all the way up to zero being a hundred percent and you see the opacity of my sketch change here so if I choose five it'll take me to fifty percent which is similar to what I had before one to a very light ten percent and back to zero for a hundred percent the preserve transparency and pick up underlying color features have been added to the layers menu here we see them down here and also to the layer options menu on the layers panel and you see them down here. They've also been added to the layer panel context menu which you can access by right clicking or command clicking on the layers panel. Other frequently used commands have been moved to the layers palette menu. For instance, duplicate layer and lock layer. Duplicate layer and lock layer. You can lock the canvas layer, protecting it from accidentally painting on it. Other helpful commands to group layers, press Control or Command G. To ungroup layers, Control Command U. To collapse layers, Control or Command E. I can shift select, select this one here and come all the way down here, shift select these layers, and then I can collapse them by pressing Command E on my Mac. And to collapse it, it's gonna commit all shapes and plugin layers to an image layer. So I don't wanna choose commit and don't ask again because I do wanna be prompted by this message. Click OK to accept if you wanna collapse these. and as you see, they've all collapsed into one layer except my signature here. 
and the layers that I had hidden have not been included into this collapsed layer. So I'm going to com press Command or Control V to undo. To select all layers, you would press Command, Shift, plus 1 on the Mac, Control, Shift, plus L on the PC. So I'm going to just select the canvas right here. Command, Shift, 1 to select all layers. If you try to paint on a hidden layer, I'm going to choose a brush, get a message. You cannot paint on a hidden layer. Please make sure the layer is visible and try again. One of my favorite workflow tips is to control click on a layer and you see the animated marquee appear. We can also create a layer mask from this selection by going to the Layers Palette menu and creating a layer mask from Transparency, and you see it right there. I just want to point out that we can also, let me deselect this, Command D, Control D. We can also select the pixels on a watercolor layer or thick paint layer by control clicking, but the Create Layer Mask from Transparency is not available for the media layers at this time. So if I wanted to add more watercolor paint within this selection, I could do so. Command D, Control D to deselect. Improve pasting. You can select the canvas or a layer, copy it, and choose Edit Paste in Place, and the item will paste directly above where it was copied. So I'm going to select my sketch layer right here, and I'm going to choose Command A, Select All, Edit Copy, or Command C, Copy, Paste in Place. So you see the sketch copy came in right on top of the layer that I copied it from. And the same is true if you had selected a portion of your canvas or the whole canvas and copied it and selected paste in place, it would come in directly above the canvas. Also in Painter 2020, we have improved compositing. If we have hidden layers and collapse or drop them, the hidden layers will not show up in our composite as we saw earlier. We can select a layer based on clicking on the image and do so by selecting the layer adjuster in the toolbox and then enabling the auto select layer checkbox here in the property bar. So if I click on my image you'll see my thick paint layer 1 is selected. If I click over here my thick paint 2 layer, which is the cloud, is selected. If I click here, my details layer is selected. Very helpful. In this video, we explored the layer enhancements in Painter 2020, including additions to the layer menu, layers panel, and shortcuts for accessing and editing layer content. We also explored tips for speeding up your layer workflows. Thank you for watching. Enjoy Painter and happy painting!